Hello my friends, Gabriel here, back with video and in today's video I'm gonna talk about the official KitKat 4.4.2 update for the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini i9195 model, the international LTE 4G model. So, uh, if you own this device or uh, you want to own it, um, you have to know that uh, there is already an official update for KitKat which uh, was released uh, in June for this device but uh, unfortunately I think the update was uh, released in stages because uh, some owners of uh, this device uh, haven't gotten their hands uh, on the KitKat update some did, just like me and uh, let's proceed with uh, the things that uh, changed to be real honest with you not very much has changed with uh, this release of uh, Android the only additions to what already the device packed are uh, the NUX 2.0 feature and also the implementation of uh, SMS with uh, Hangouts in terms of uh, I don't know other goodies in uh, the software department, uh, everything is uh, pretty much the same. They only added uh, the printing uh, framework and uh, that pretty much does it. As you can see I'm running KitKat 4.4.2. Things that I noticed after the update, I have installed the update uh, about 48 hours ago. The first thing that I noticed, and uh, I consider it to be the biggest uh, improvement, it's uh, the display, if you want, the clarity, the sharpness added to the display, text and uh, images, and uh, when you're scrolling uh, in the web browser or uh, watching, uh, reading something uh, <clears throat> on this display seems to be a lot more sharper than it was uh, before on the 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. Uh, software version. This is a huge improvement because uh, this device also packs a Super AMOLED display and on uh, 4.2 Jelly Bean um, I wasn't very happy with uh, the clarity or uh, the sharpness and the contrast of the display but uh, it seems at least for me at this moment that uh, the display has improved uh, with this update. Some other things that I noticed um, in terms of battery life, I haven't noticed uh, any huge improvement or any improvement for uh, the matter. Uh, to me it's the same like it was on a uh, 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. As you can see I have 48% uh, battery charge. I've unplugged the phone about uh, 6 hours ago. Since then I used it a lot. And my screen on time is uh, 3 hours and uh, 2 minutes. So, uh, based on my usage and uh, on my type of usage, uh, I will get about uh, 5 hours and 50, maybe 6 hours and uh, 10 minutes of uh, screen on time, which is basically the same uh, time that I got uh, with uh, 4.2 Jelly Bean. So, in this department, uh, no improvements so far, so uh, nothing to, to write home about. Other things that I improved, uh, that I've noticed, uh, not necessarily improved, is uh, the overall uh, fluidity of the system, which in my honest opinion was uh, a lot more uh, fluid on 4.2 Jelly Bean. I'm using, uh, using a custom launcher right now, it's uh, Go Launcher EX, and uh, with this launcher, which I always use on uh, all my Android devices, I've noticed the tendency in 4.4 uh, KitKat uh, for the user interface to be a little bit sluggish, uh, a lot more stuttering uh, and so on uh, compared with the 4.2 version of uh, Android that was uh, previously on this device. So for me in uh, KitKat uh, it seems that uh, the lag uh, that's always present on any touch with the device it's um, more obvious uh, to the naked eye than uh, it was on 4.2 Jelly Bean and uh, this is a bummer 
because uh, Google says that uh, with 4.4 KitKat um, performance increases and uh, so on, uh, you know all the lies they always tell with uh, every OS update. Another thing that I noticed in uh, benchmarks, in uh, synthetic uh, benchmarks, is that um, the device uh, somehow uh, performs the same with a slight decrease in uh, the benchmarks. For example, I installed uh, Antutu and Quadrant, uh, the benchmarks that I always use when I do benchmarks on my devices. And as you can see on Antutu I got uh, 18,000 points. Which is not bad considering the hardware that this device packs, but uh, on 4.2 Jelly Bean I would get about uh, 20,000, 21,000 points. So uh, I certainly noticed a slight decrease in, uh, in terms of uh, synthetic benchmarks. In uh, Quadrant the same, uh, the same thing happened. I've got about uh, 7,000 points, while on uh, 4.2 Jelly Bean I would get uh, somewhere about uh, 75 to maybe 8,000 points. So a slight decrease, but uh, this is nothing uh, new to me and uh, unusual. The same things I noticed uh, on my regular S4. And also on the Sony Xperia Z1, uh, when I first updated to KitKat, the decrease in uh, synthetic uh, benchmarks and also some other things. One of which, the overheating of the device. The device um, tends to overheat uh, too fast for my liking, if you want. Um, let's say if you're gonna stay on YouTube and watch a video for about uh, 10 minutes or some videos for uh, 10 minutes, you're gonna notice how the device um, overheats a lot on the back side. For example, today I uh, stayed about uh, half an hour on YouTube watching some videos and uh, the device got uh, very, very hot uh, on the back side. This happened on 4.2.2 uh, Jelly Bean, but uh, to me it seems that on 4.4 uh, KitKat uh, it's a lot more obvious than it was on Jelly Bean. Still, all this being said, uh, battery life uh, seems not to be affected by this uh, overheating and uh, considering that uh, this happened uh, to me on um, previous devices that I owned and uh, that I installed KitKat. Uh, as I said, it's nothing new to me and um, I'm not very surprised with this. In terms of uh, signal reception and uh, call quality, everything is the same like it was on a 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. With uh, this update, they improved the Wi-Fi signal. Uh, it's a lot more stable, the connection to a wireless router or um, to a wireless uh, access point it's a lot more stable than it was on a 4.2.2 Jelly Bean so uh, a slight improvement here in terms of uh, visuals nothing new it's uh, the same thing like it was before we don't have the fancy menu with the rounded icons that we get on the S5 for example so uh, as you can see Everything is just the same in terms of um, visuals. What else there is to say? I haven't noticed any improvements in uh, the camera. Maybe a small, very, very, very small, very imperceptible uh, improvement in terms of uh, picture quality, especially in picture clarity. Pictures uh, tend to, to look um, a bit better than, uh, than they were on a 4.2 Jelly Bean. Everything, uh, everything uh, else is uh, the same like it was on uh, the previous version of this device. What else there is to say? Uh, so far uh, I haven't noticed some, uh, any big issues. I haven't noticed any random reboots, uh, freezes and so on. 
like uh, it happened on the regular S4 or the Z1 for me. But uh, I noticed the other problems uh, that come with KitKat and that's, um, let's say, the um, more obvious lag throughout the UI, especially when using um, TouchWiz. Also, the overheating issue, this uh, I really don't understand uh, why all the devices that uh, get 4.4 uh, KitKat uh, have problems with overheating. RAM uh, is very well optimized also with this um, KitKat update. Let's go ahead and uh, see. As you can see with your eyes, RAM management is very good, just like it was on 4.2.2. Uh, so no issues, no problems here. And as I said, everything else is as you know it uh, from uh, 4.2 Jelly Bean. This pretty much does it uh, for this video. It was uh, first impressions on uh, the official 4.4.2 KitKat uh, update for the Galaxy S4 Mini. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always if you have comments leave them in the comment section. Also hit the like button, share this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for uh, future content. You'll find on my channel other videos that I made. I'll post a link uh, in the description of this video with uh, all my videos and uh, you may find there uh, perhaps uh, answers to questions that you have or um, you may find something that uh, interests you. As always, you can follow me on Facebook on my official page the same name like uh, my YouTube channel. Also, you can uh, follow me on Google Plus and Twitter, but uh, mostly on uh, Facebook. So, thank you one more time for uh, watching this video, and uh, I hope to hear from you in my next videos. Until then, as always, be safe, be good. Your friend Gabriel signing out. Peace.